In this segment, Louie and I are going to show you the safe and proper way to start your chainsaw. But before we get into the procedures of starting a chainsaw, there are some basic cautions that need to be followed. Before starting the saw, make sure the fuel and oil caps are tight and wipe away any fuel that may have spilled on the chainsaw when you added fuel. And check the chainsaw over, making sure nothing is missing or broken. Always remember to start your gas-powered tools a minimum of 10 feet away from where you added fuel to the tool. Never start or operate your chainsaw unless you have the proper protective on. Casey's got his boots, chaps, gloves, glasses, hearing protection, and helmet system on. And last, if you're approached while the saw is running, engage the chain brake and shut off the engine. So what do you say, Casey? Let's get into the starting process. Sounds good. Two things you never want to do. Drop start the chainsaw as Casey's demonstrating here or throw starting it. Operators can get really hurt using these techniques because they literally have no control over the saw once it starts. Okay, Louie, let's show them the two ways Steel recommends. First, your positioning for starting the chainsaw on the ground. Casey has a saw sitting on the ground in a clear flat area. The bar and chain are clear of the ground and there are no objects or obstructions nearby that could come in contact with the bar and chain. He'll slip the toe of his right foot into the opening of the rear handle. His left hand is pressing down on the front handle, his thumb and fingers fully wrapped around the handle and his elbow is locked. His right hand will grip the starter handle for pulling on the rope. So this is an excellent and safe way to start your saw when you're in a clear and open area. But in case you're not in a clear open area, you got twigs, brush or debris, Steel recommends a second method for starting your chainsaw in the standing position. First, Casey's going to make sure he has secure footing. He'll position the rear handle of the saw between his legs, just above the knees. He's got a grip on the front handle with his left hand, thumb and fingers wrapped fully around the handle, and his left arm is in a locked position. He'll use his right hand to start the saw. These are the only two methods that Steele recommends for starting a chainsaw.